User-friendly is a thing that all major software and hardware makers strive to achieve. It helps to get good sales and get them dollars. With Premiere Pro and all of its products, Adobe tries to make it as basic as they can for many reasons. Number one is their love for money. But how can you actually make something that Hollywood editors with years of experience use to make billions of dollars user-friendly? We could talk about three levels of Premiere Pro utilization. This level is meant for boomers and people trying to say that they learned something this summer. In general, not full-fledged editors, but rather just casual users. If you're new to editing or PCs in general, Premiere Pro helps you with very clear instructions so you won't get lost. Getting lost is for later. You download the software and pay the subscription. Or not, no judging here. You open the software and get welcomed with a huge option that says New Project. Everything is set for what most people would use Premiere Pro for. Nothing hard yet, but how do you actually use it? Adobe provides you with icons. The most important one for the basics is the razor. And what's a razor used for? Well, no, it's not for shaving anything. Adobe doesn't have a beard, but you will if you want to be a pro. Okay. If you check in the lower left corner, you'll find a text that says import media. To start, you throw in your wedding video or the first YouTube video you're making to be the next pudes. Oh my god! How many views is this gonna get me? Most certainly, it's just some meme competition with some TikTok songs and some text added. That's it. That's literally it. Anyways, anything that comes to your head, just you can just go nuts. No matter what you do at this point, it's very helpful to get your feet wet. You have to start somewhere. You've been using Premiere Pro for some weeks now. You learned how to add your videos and media and make some TikTok videos. In the next level of Premiere Pro, you start using your brain and try to be artistic. This level has two steps. The first one is fixing audio. If you're just starting, you throw in a song and just let it play in the background to a cringy thing. You may think it's funny or sad, but as you start to gradually know what you're doing, you realize that fixing the audio levels can give more soul to your video and cut the noises out safe. The second thing is color correction. If you're filming yourself, you're probably doing a bad job, especially if you are on a low budget and you have a 420p camera. You need to lock and prepare Premiere Pro once more, as it gives you a way to use color correction, fixes the hue and saturation in your video, and makes it as sharp as it can get just by using your cursor. I, however, don't recommend getting deep in it. If you don't know what you're doing, just use the auto features. If you mess it with yourself, you'll most certainly just make your skin pink or blue. Even when it comes to veteran users of Premiere Pro, there are still some huge differences in editing. At this level, it means that you know what you're doing. But knowing that doesn't mean that you have the resources to do it. So there are two types of professional editors. The first type differs from all the other types by using all the features that Premiere Pro provides. Effects and filters are a must to any editor, but only a professional can use them properly. You could reach this level with sweat and blood. It's time to stop. <clears throat> no, just kidding. You just need to put in a few hours a day to learn to use color correctly and add filters and effects as appropriate. In addition to mastering green screens and transitions and making them move seamlessly, it takes time and effort, but can be achieved only with a PC and a person with high hopes and dreams. The second type of pro editors is those who make dreams come true, for real. The one that takes a green screen and a wind fog machine and gives you Harry Potter. This level probably takes more time and effort to learn than all the others combined. The difference between a Marvel movie and a Bollywood next dancing blockbuster comes to editors. Those guys have to think about everything. Their imagination is what makes movies, ads, commercials, and documentaries successful. Green screens here are not on walls, they're in house-sized rooms, and the effects used cost millions of dollars. There's no room for mistakes, which makes this level not noob-friendly. Don't you worry though, it will take care of you no matter how. 
If you're an old, new noob or a pro mama, Adobe welcomes all differences. Of course, if you've just started, don't expect to pull off what you see in movies like ever. Even if you put in the time to get to that point, you have to use highly expensive cameras and lights and just know that most of the budget of that movie is spent on the effects. But no need to start frowning just yet. If editing is what you set your mind on and you're just starting, you'll be mixed with the Indians for some time putting yourself in Paris and taking your front door with you. Just start somewhere and put in the time and you'll get better than you've ever dreamed of in your life. In the end, it's just a software that we humans can actually overcome. So what level of editor do you think you are? And what are you aspiring to be? Again, my friends, we reached the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.